Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Hsu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll go over the new features and changes in Lightroom Classic 7.4. We have a handful of them. First, we can now add color labels to our folders. Now these color labels can mean anything you want them to. You might just label your favorites so that you can find them easier, or they might reflect what stage of your workflow you're at with these particular shoots. To add a color label to a folder, right click on it and choose Add Color Label and choose your color. If you've already added a color label and you want to change the color, just come in here and choose a different color. To remove a color label, choose None. I'll show you what not to do. Don't right click on your folder and choose Remove. That would remove or delete your photo. That's not what you want. You want to go into Add Color Label and choose None to remove just the color label. Now that we have color labels, we can also filter on whether folders have color labels. Click on the drop down here and choose Labeled Folder. You'll see the labeled folders and the hierarchy that they're in if you've revealed these parent folders. I'll click on the drop down again and go back to seeing all folders. Let's go to the Develop module. There are lots of groups of presets in the Presets panel here that I never use. And I used to have to scroll through them all to get to the ones that I want. Now we can hide preset groups. Click on the plus and choose Manage Presets and uncheck any that you don't want to see. Then click Save. Note that this won't delete the presets. You can always come back into Manage Presets and check these again if you want to return to seeing them. Now I don't see those in my list here. If you want to reveal all that you've hidden, you can right click on any of the preset group names and choose Reset Hidden Presets. Now starting in Lightroom Classic 7.3, when you hover over a preset, you see it previewed not only in the Navigator panel, but also over in the main window. Unfortunately, for some people, that really bogs down Lightroom. So Adobe has added a preference so that you can turn off the preview over here. You'll go up to Lightroom on a Mac or Edit on a PC and into Preferences and uncheck Enable Hover Preview of Presets in Loop. Then close Preferences. Now as I hover, I just see the preview up in the Navigator panel. Now just as we can now hide preset groups, we can do the same with Profiles. I'll click on the squares to go into the Profile browser. Now the first thing I'd like to do is collapse all of the open groups here. We can now right click on any of the profile group names and choose Collapse All. And we can do the same to Expand All. But I want to go back to Collapse. If there are profile groups that you don't want to see because you never use them, then right click on any of the profile group names and choose Manage Profiles. Then uncheck any that you don't want to see and click Save. The same comment I had for presets applies here. Unchecking groups doesn't delete them. You can always come back in here and reveal them again. I'll click Save and they're gone from my list. Similar to presets, you can also right click and choose Reset Hidden Profiles to get back all of the ones that you've hidden. Let's go back to the library module. Adobe has made one small but handy change in the HDR and Panorama merge dialogues. So I have several images here that I took planning to stitch them together into a panorama. For this video, I'll just select three of them and then I'll right click and choose Photo Merge Panorama. This isn't new, by the way. What's new is this option here to create a stack. This will link the source files together with the merged panorama file. I'll show you what it looks like in just a sec. You'll have this option to create a stack in the panorama dialog and also in the HDR dialog. 
I'll click Merge. And I see my panorama being generated. And in just a sec, it will appear here. Now, it's finished, but I don't see it here. I just realized that somehow I ended up with a sort order of aspect ratio. So let's go back to sorting by capture time. And now I see my panorama file. The file name ends in dash pano, and it's a DNG file, so I know that that's the stitch panorama. And I have a badge here, a stack badge, indicating that there are four photos stacked together. If I click on the badge, then I can see all four of them. The top one is the panorama file, and then the other three are the source files. So finally, it's easy to keep track of which source files we created a panorama with. To collapse the stack again, click back on the four. I don't have a file here to show this with, but Lightroom Classic 7.4 and later now supports Apple's HEIC files. This is the new default format that the iPhone camera shoots in. So you can now import and edit those files here in Lightroom Classic. Two more quick things. First, I forgot to mention that the Folders panel search now is much faster than it used to be. Finally, this isn't a change to Lightroom Classic directly, but as a Classic user, you may be interested. Presets and profiles can now be synced from the cloud-based Lightroom CC application to and from Lightroom Mobile and Web. So you can create a preset in Lightroom CC on your desktop, and that will automatically be available to you on your mobile device. If you create a preset on your mobile device, it would be available to you on your desktop. Unfortunately, Lightroom Classic is not part of the Lightroom CC ecosystem. So Lightroom Classic presets will not sync to mobile and web, nor will they sync in the other direction. However, there is a one-time exception to that. If you want to get your Lightroom Classic presets into the Lightroom CC ecosystem so that they will show up on your mobile devices, after you do the 7.4 update, open up the Lightroom CC application, which is part of your Creative Cloud subscription, whether you're using it or not, and update that to the latest update if you haven't already. And what you'll find is that in the edit section, in presets, your user presets and imported presets from Lightroom Classic will show up here. And once they're here, they will sync to your mobile devices. However, this is a one-time deal. When you create new presets in Lightroom Classic or you update existing ones from now on, those won't sync over. To get those into the Lightroom CC ecosystem, you'll need to go through the import presets process here in Lightroom CC. All right, that's it for what's new in Lightroom 7.4, except that there are support for a handful of new cameras, there are lots of important bug fixes, and new lens profiles. To see all the details, read my blog post at lauraschuh.com. I'm Laura Shue.